600 here and I finally got to play the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game by Raw Thrills and holy crap the game is a blast so we're going to take a quick look at it there's three stages and you can pick which stage you want to start off with we're looking at the New York City stage first as you can see there's a lot of stuff in the environment you can interact with now this game is a lot of fun the controls take a little bit to get used to because it's kind of an in-between of like a 3D beat em up and then the old school beat em ups. Here we have the next stage, which is the sewer surfing stage, very similar to Turtles in Time. Now there's a lot of homages to Turtles in Time in this game, so many, which is awesome. And the game, it's fun to play. This is the biggest homage. I'm just going to be quiet for this part. <laughs> I mean, seriously, Krang from the original cartoon, how insane is that? And Super Krang from Turtles in Time. So the game is a lot of fun, worth checking out. Now, I know there's only three stages, but the stages are long. It took me, I, I wasn't clocking it, but it took around, I'd say, 25 minutes to play through the whole game. Now there's a lot of cool power-ups. We're gonna see one coming. We're gonna see one coming up in a little bit. Here it is. So you can get your friends to help you out. The game plays well. The only downside are the joysticks feel a little chintzy. So that might be an issue. I love throwing guys at the screen, but that might be an issue for operators. It's like I wish I could just have a different joystick, but overall the guys at Raw Thrills did an excellent job with this game. There's so many throwbacks to Turtles in Time. It feels like a beat-em-up that could have existed back in the day, but with better graphics. The animation is smooth, the frame rate is great. I mean, it looks a lot like the Nickelodeon cartoon, and all the voice actors are in it. Like, listen here. That's freaking Gilbert Godfrey. I mean, they have all the voice actors from the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon in it. It's crazy how much attention to detail they have in this game. Overall, the game feels fair. It does not feel like a like an insane quarter pumper, which is nice. Now there are only three stages, but after you beat the three stages, you unlock Shredder. Don't forget, quick glimpse of that. And what that essentially is, is just a boss rush mode. So you fight a few of the bosses, because there's a mid-level boss for each stage and then the final boss. So you fight some of the bosses, like Bebop and Rocksteady, and in between some of the bosses, there's foot soldiers you fight. It's also cool is there's an actual score, so you can keep track of a score, and there's a high score. You can enter your name for a high score. So here we go, Shredder's unlocked. And we're gonna cut to one of the boss, the first boss of Shredder. Yep, so we got Bebop right here. Oh, 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 
And again, you can hear the voice actors from the cartoon in the background. It's great. So if you get a chance to play this game, definitely play it. Definitely play through it. It's a blast. It's a lot of fun. Be sure to check out our other videos at thearcadehunters.com or check out on our YouTube. Thanks for watching.